Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 11 of Sky Bees 2, a mod pack by Valden. So, in the last episode, we progressed a lot with Astral Sorcery. Basically, we got to the final tier of altar, this beautiful iridescent altar, and we've set up this whole uh, starlight infuser so that we can start infusing stuff. And then I went into a time lapse where I worked on my on my uh, botania and look at that i've got the 18 terra steel ingots now also we went to the nether and we got or wither skeleton skull which means we are now ready to start with those bees and it's one of the steps that we need to make because we're going to need a lot of wither skeleton skull to kill a lot of wither because we want nether stars, and we're going to need 18 of them for the bee nectar block. Uh, that's not going to be in today's episode, but we're going to start progressing toward that direction. Then, I added a whole new bee apartment complex level. So, we have a lot of place for the new bees. Though, we have a lot of work to do today. So, let's just try and get started. I also made 18 Enderium Ingot. I made it by using lead, ender pearls, diamond dust, and fire charge. Like, the fire charge is blaze powder, charcoal, and gunpowder. So, really easy. Lead, we already have. Diamond, I just needed to crush. And the ender pearl, I used the straight ender pearls. So, I did that using this little thingy during my time lapse so as not to waste time what else did i prepare so let me grab this let me grab two of these for the honey is there anything else here that i want this and hmm no oh i'm gonna need an ender bee for the breeding i still can't place the ender bees down unfortunately because yeah the ender bees are not like uh i don't have the nectar the bee nectar stuff and i kind of forgot i also need to breed them uh ender bees require the enderium dust kind of thing the ender no the ender dust or something just one second we'll see it ender pearl dust perfect so we're gonna need that um and let's just come over here grab two buckets of honey we're, we're gonna need more than two but let's start with two put that right here and what is the wither oh it's skeleton comb do i have skeleton comb already no well, let's come over here and look for skeleton combs and just grab two of these one two and let's come back here and start the wither skeleton with wither see that's why we're going to need the 18 nether star block so let's get that and since we're here, let's get the Enderium going also. And let's get the Terra Steel going also. So Enderium is going to require two blocks of diamond. And Terra Steel is going to require two blocks of Mana Steel. Let's come right here and say diamond. And grab two. Oh, no. One, two. And Mana Steel. One, two, and you know what? I, I just want to make a bit more mana steel because we're going to need some for later down. And you know what? I'm going to just hijack this, put it straight in just so I don't have to wait for it. Let's put that back. Oh, and let's grab another bucket of honey. So let's come back over here. We're going to do this and start the next one, which is going to be the... Um, in, let's do the Enderium first. <clears throat> right here and we're just going to wait for this to be finished so wither skeleton we have all of those also ready that we're going to need to start at some point let's put that in and then let's start the next one which is going to be the what's the other one that i prepared the Ter terra steel yeah right here nope this one right here great so now we're going to need to make the wither skeleton bee. So we did the ender bee nectar block oh, that we did a while ago. Just forgot to remove it. We made the this right here. 
So the Enderium B is going to be Diamond and Ender Pearl Dust. Diamond and Ender Pearl Dust. Perfect. <clears throat> the Wither B is so the Wither B is made through uh, item transmutation. Did I not? Huh. Really? Okay. So I guess I did not place it here. Let's just search for Wither Skeleton B. This is what we need. So we need. Oh, no, right here. Sorry. Wither Skeleton Bee. We need a Skeleton Bee, and we're going to need to have it just process the um, sentence with words. Process the... Oh, my God. This is too complicated for me. Uh, process the Nectar Block. Oh, right here. Really? Okay. Uh, I guess not. Do I have a block? Ooh. Yeah, I do. Let's just grab one of these. So now we're going to do this. And close it back. And then we're going to have to fly back up because I unfortunately fell. And I'm going to get the skeleton beat as soon as it comes out of its eye. Perfect. So now that I have you, I'm going to go back down to the transmutation setup right here let's put the skeleton be like so and let's put two wither skeleton skull like so and let's put that right here while we're waiting for this little guy to do his job uh you know what my wither skeletons are so rare i'm not taking a chance i'm not leaving here until i have my two i've picked up the the two skeleton skulls and i've picked up my bee just honestly no chance will be taken Oh, I didn't get it. It went in. See, that's... Remember, you guys, I talked to you about the magic teleportation of bees? Well, that that's what that one did. So I'm going to just want to put that one back. Let's just wait to grab it. And then I'm going to be able to go and set up the new bees. <clears throat> and... I'm going to breed the Indirium B also at the same time. So grab you and then I can go. So for the Indirium B, we're going to need the Diamond Bees that should be back here, I believe. Right here. Yes, perfect. So Diamond B is going to require this Ender B. I'm just going to wait for one Diamond B. Yep. So right now, do this and this. Don't leave it time to leave. <clears throat> grab it put it back down and get the other one to breed come on come on come on pick it up before it teleports great and the second baby bee should be here <clears throat> and we're good so now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to go and set up our new bees so I think you know what let's just take one new spot over here uh, we're going to put the... Oh, I didn't put... Let's go back and put the Skeleton B first. Skeleton B was right here, so I need to break this. Put this and put the Skeleton B... Nope, Skeleton B. Yep, yeah, perfect. So our two Skeleton Bs are back and happy. And then we can come over here and we're going to put the... Enderium and Wither Skeleton Bees. So, Enderium right here. Wither Skeleton Bee right here. And so, one and two. And one and two. And voila. So, these two bees are started. Now, let's come down here. Do I have any steel from my steel bee yet? <clears throat> Yeah, so let's grab everything that we can because we're going to need some steel. And let's go back over here and I'm going to intercept another processing just to get my steel ASAP because like I said, we're going to need steel. Don't know why I have two skeleton honeycomb. Did I use them to like maybe I already had two? Oh, and by the way, the block of rose gold, I don't need that. That's just to store back.
great so we can put that back right there and what's the next step okay next step is today i want to get started into pneumaticraft and to get started with pneumaticraft we need compressed iron compressed iron can be gotten from a pressure chamber but for the pressure chamber we do need compressed iron already or from the centrifuge but that's the compressed iron b and the compressed iron b requires a compressed iron nectar block which doesn't require compressed iron huh but i already plan of accelerating this so let's just come right here and let's grab three tnt one two three let's grab two iron nectar block one two and let's grab a whole stack of iron and do i have a lever lever new well that's not complicated to make it's just annoying so let's just grab a lever right here and what i'm going to do just to see this is all claimed so i think i can make explosion without destroying anything but just to be 100 percent safe here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to do this just do a little platform in the air like so place a tnt place this and let's place the stack right there do this and wait for it to explode and voila we've got our first compressed iron so i don't really have to wait for the bee so that's not a bad way of going i could have waited for the honeycombs but that's going to take a little while so compress iron like this and how do i make my compressor we did make the enderium b how do i make the compressed iron b spawn tnt with oh yeah that that's that is why i had already prepared that apparently like i'm a i'm someone who imagines things before we even need to do them i forgot to put my terra steel b so let's just go up here back here do this and put the terra steel honeycomb and you know what i'm going to put the compressed iron honeycomb right here like that like so and then i'm going to release my two terra steel b right here oh Oof. it's right there go so let's just come down here and now let's sleep i'm not doing any astral sorcery so i want my bees to be working full time so let's just restart quickly okay next step uh you know what i've got a stack let me make some furnaces because we're going to need two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen i think i have 18 because i think i counted some double clicks so perfect one two three four five six seven eight nine exactly perfect count and we're going to make all of these into furnace so that i have furnace to be used when i need to okay so we got our first compressed iron which means we can now make a pressure chamber for a pressure chamber, we're going to need a valve, 24 pressure wall, and two pressure chamber interface, which I have all of these here. We're going to need reinforced stone. So I'm going to make 32 of those. Uh, 48. Okay. These I'm all going... Oh. These I'm all going to transform into reinforced brick. And if I come back here to the pressure chamber wall, that's going to give me 16. Uh, how many do I need? 24, I believe, right? Let's do another 16. Great. Then I need to make... So I've made the pressure chamber wall. So let's remove that. Now I need a pressure chamber valve, which means I need some pressure tubes. So let's make those pressure tubes. And you know what? Let's me grab the glass. I want to make one window to see through because I like to see what I'm doing. Let's grab a pressure chamber glass, which is this right here done. And then I'm going to need a two pressure chamber interface. So that's one craft. Let's make two hoppers. I'm so fed up of running out of wood. So let's just take a second and let's try and fix that problem okay 
and let's make this into chest. Whoa, that's a bit more than I wanted, but yeah, happened. Let's just put all of this in here, this too. I should be good now. So now let's make some hoppers. No, that's not how we make hoppers. We make hoppers by clicking in here. I'm going to make two. I'm going to keep one and put one in there. I'm going to show you why in a moment. I'm going to make the two pressure chamber interfaces. And I'm now going to make a pressure chamber uh, valve. And so this is done. This is done. I want a safety tube. Okay, so let's just do that also. Uh, safety tube with a pressure gauge like so and like so. So this is going to protect our setup. We're also going to need some air compressor. So this is done. This is done. This is done. Let's do the air compressor like so. Uh, can I make two of these? That's what I would prefer. Yes, we can. So now we're ready to go and make our full setup. So I'm going to set that up right here in this corner right here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to make the four corners in the back right here. Oh, no, no, no. In the back right here, we're going to need the uh, valve. This is what's going to put the air in here. And then we're going to set the pressure interface. So if I do like this, blue on this side means that it inserts from here, eject into here. And if I place the other one like this, it's going to take from here and eject into here. And then I can just close the top. Close the top, I mean, like so. And I like to see what's going on in the chamber, which is why I always make a glass to put right there. And voila, it's formed. Okay, so right. Where's my hopper? Guess my hopper got swallowed by the system. So hopper. Uh, you know what? Let me also make some barrels. I prefer barrels over chest because I like that they can be placed and open any which way we want. Let's just do this and make some more and make another barrel. Okay. And if we come here, so if I put a barrel here, it won't insert. So here we need a hopper. Okay. Hopper like this and barrel. Oh, you stupid. Brr. So this is good, but not always super good. Let's just do like this. Perfect. And then on this side, we can just go like this. Voila. So now we're able to insert stuff, but now we're going to need some pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two compressors here and here, and I'm going to put these connected like this, and I'm going to put a safe. Nope, that's not where I wanted you to go. So let's remove all of you. Do this and put on top. Yes, like so. So what this is going to do is the air compressor is going to need some coal. I'm just going to put a little bit of coal in each. I'm going to put, well, I guess four and three because apparently that's the only coal I have left. So one, two, three. I'm going to put four in here three in here, and this is going to start generating pressure. And pressure is going to be inserted in here, and this safety valve, this pressure tube, if the pressure goes above 4.9, it's going to let the pressure escape, so this will not explode, because this is not solid, and it can explode if it goes above the max pressure. So if I come back here, we've done the air compressor, we've done the compressed iron, we've done the pressure tube, the safety tube, and let's just click that. Oh. Huh. No, we'll do that later. Don't know what that is. And now, technically, we can start making pity machine frame. to open industrial for going. And a pity machine frame is made from waxed machine block. So let's come back over here, and let's make our first wax machine block. So first, we're going to need trim wax plank, but that requires wax plank. We're going to make... Two stacks of this. 
and then two stack of this and then let's see how many wax machine block can we make 13 whoa i went through way more steel than i wanted to but eh, it is what it is so i'm just going to put five at a time for now because the more you put the harder it is on the pressure to do the insert so now it you hurt the door and then it pushed it in but this will only transform now that we have something in it it's going to tell us it can only transform when it's between four to five okay let me show this in here and basically now we're waiting on the max pressure chamber stuff uh what's my b situation oh no sorry that's not where i want to check i want to come see what new honeycombs we have now so now we have terra steel enderium and wither skeleton i can put wither skeleton here enderium here and i'm out of compact drawer but let me just come back here i'm pretty much out of cobblestone in my uh system here so let's just throw all of that in here i don't need the compressed iron so i can put it here and if i come back over here air compressor is done i'm going to keep this because that's always useful i'm going to make a couple more compact drawers six oak drawers two by two so let's do this and oh i'm out of piston okay not a problem let's make 38 piston i guess and let's make two more of those and i'm going to you know what i'm going to put two here and the other four up there and i'm using the key in my hand so that they are immediately locked and that's why i wanted four because i knew it would like perfectly form this so put this right here and by the way in the b quest line so if i come back here at all the bees basically i need a block of each so if i go that's done and counted done and counted done and counted this one and i don't know yeah i had not done this one this one either this one was done this one was not done this one was done okay so every bee that we have is now good so i what's the next thing that i need let me grab these 20 let me grab these 10 which is not a lot but it's better than nothing and steel we still have 30 and just grab a couple of those and then we're going to come down here and we're going to set those up as the default hmm i don't want yeah i can intercept the diamonds for this and this is the flux which i want to continue the iron can be overwritten by the terra steel and right here dielectric paste okay so what i'm going to do is put this first this second don't forget that this if i remember properly goes in the order from left to right so doing like this should take those first and if i come here oh the pressure is getting well i would want to stay in front to show you the transformation but at the same time I don't want to waste oh we're out of pressure so you know what i'm just going to come over here and grab this charcoal i'm going to put one two one two and let's see what happens by the way these door when they open like the the left and right door they lose some pressure because they work by the pressure so the pressure opens them the item goes in the pressure closes them transfer the stem out so that's kind of a problem where you lose a bit of pressure but it's not enormous and since we're getting really close i'm going to stay and that's why i like the window so now you see that there's five machine uh, five wax machine block and these five wax machine block in now are going to jump and transform oh they change into pity machine frame and are being outputted to here one at a time five and voila you know what i'm gonna put the other eight but do you see the pressure still at four now the door's gonna open and when the door opens we should lose some pressure yeah see we went down to 3.8 now it's going quickly back up to four 
and these are going to transform again all of them door opens and now they're going to all jump in pressure went down to 385 and we should now get to 13 pity machine frame which is amazing that's exactly what i wanted and we're night again so let's go sleep Okay, so if I come back here to Pneumaticraft, uh, for now, I'm barely doing the minimal that I need, the minimum that I need to move forward. So everything else, we'll work on that later. For now, I've unlocked the pitting machine frame, which is what I wanted to do. Uh, wax machine block for honey generator. Oh, there's also centrifuge casing. This is something probably that we're going to get into for the next episode. So now the next thing that I want to do is I want to get into industrial foregoing right here. So basically we need to start with the fluid extractor and that required some pity machine frame, which we now have. So if I come here and I find my, nope, I guess I never pre-selected it. So let's come right here and say fluid extractor. We're going to make two of you. One, two, and like so. One and two. Okay, so the fluid extractor are used to extract latex from wood. Okay, and if I press on this, see the acacia produce four millibucket at every 12 tick with an average of 6.4 bucket. Spruce log two, uh, oak log two, birch log two, uh, dark oak log three, jungle two, dark oak log one. So the one that you want to use above all is acacia. And if I come here and I write acacia, fortunately, this is something we can make from this. So I'm going to make a stack and that should last us for a long while. And basically what you want to do is you want to have the place like this. Yes. And... So, uh, okay, like this, and this one like this. And basically, we want an acacia log here, and an acacia log here, and wow, they're already broken a lot, which doesn't make any sense to me. Huh. They should have started fully fresh, but now we're extracting latex. See? Both of them are extracting latex. What's going to happen is that those are going to break at some point and you're going to have to replace them. But they go through two steps. First, they became spruce logs. Uh, no, they become stripped acacia, which doesn't like this really doesn't extract anymore. So we're going to have to remove them. And that's when we need to get into modular router. I should have used modular router before but I don't like using things that I don't really control well. So I had to go and watch some tutorials and make sure that I knew what I was doing, like pressing A and getting rid of something. So let's try that again and press A here and let's do that. So modular router needs blank module. So I'm going to make a couple of blank module, 30 should be good. And then I'm going to make a uh, for mo uh, modular router to begin with then i'm going to show all of that in here and what i want is i want to use a modular router to place blocks so we'll need some placer module let's just do this do i have another normal bow yes i do so don't want to use the magical bow if i don't have to and i'm going to need two placer module one and two and then I'm going to need two breaker modules. So let's just make two stone pickaxe. One and two. And let's make two breaker module. And let's go and get started. So basically, this modular router, I'm going to put right here. And then I need to teach it what I want to do. So I'm going to put two placer module here and all the acacia log here. And when you mouse over and you press C, that's how you get access. So we need an acacia log. Log an acacia log on the left, so left, and it's going to place whatever's in here. 
Uh, and you know what you can do? You can say whitelist and you could just in case you don't want to play something else, you can just go like this and whitelist this. Then this one is going to go to the back, whitelist and this. So now we have those two placing stuff. Then we want those two breakers, but we want these breaker to be whitelist. This one on the left and this breaker whitelist on the back. And it's really important because we only want these to break um, acacia, uh, something, something like the strip acacia. Okay. So right now it's doing nothing, which is kind of unfortunate. Do I? No, I'm, I'm going to like, I don't know how long these are going to take to break. So let's just, okay, let me show you. This is the left breaker. I'm going to say uh, blacklist, which means it breaks anything. So right now it's placing an acacia log, breaking it, placing, breaking, placing, breaking. So I'm going to change that to whitelist so that it stopped breaking stuff. And I let it place the other acacia log and well, I guess I've lost a, oh no. Okay. They all, oh, when it breaks it and there's place to put it, it puts it in the buffer. So the reason in my test world, it's not picking up the spruce of the stripped acacia log is that there's log in here. So it, and it plays a new one. So once this is completely stripped, I'll be able to break it and then teach the whitelist to those two. Now let's come back right here and grab a, a singularity tank. Singularity tank right here, like so. And right here, we're going to grab two fluid pipe and a pipe wrench. And basically, I'm just going to set up a tank right over here so that we can start extracting the latex. Shift right click. Oh, we've got a bucket. So that's the next quest line, uh, next quest item. Grab a bucket and let's put it back. And if I come back here, next step is latex processing unit. Now we're not going to do this. Okay. We're going to craft it because we need to, but I don't have any intention of using it because the latex processing unit is made to transform, uh, liquid latex into tiny dry rubber. But if I come here and I look, we already have tiny dry rubber from the rubber honeycomb. So I, I much prefer keeping the latex for other stuff. Ooh, we're out of power. This is producing 160. This is producing, oh, no, this is producing 80. This is producing 80. And I guess these machine are using a lot of power, a lot more power than I was expecting. Is it? It's the fact that everything's working. You know what? We're going to solve that too. So right now, I'll just put the rubber here for later and we'll solve that problem first. So how are we going to fix that problem? Well, super easy. We're going to solve that problem. Let me just clean up a couple of things. Uh, this I don't need anymore. We're going to solve that problem by crafting a multi servo press and an induction smelter. Those are two things that I really need right now. So for that, we need machine frames and to get machine frames, we need to starlight infuse pity machine. So let's grab two of those and the wand right here and a bouquet right here. And let's go and get those done. So basically, we're going to put one in here and click it and this is going to use one bucket of our starlight once i see which bucket it use right here put this one back put this and do it again so that's going to be our two machine frame to make our two new machines Yeah, it's this corner one. Perfect. So now that we have those two, we can come here and we're, we should be able to make our next element. Our next element is going to be an induction smelter, but that requires, uh, do I make the induction? No, I'm going to make the multi servo press first. So for the multi servo press, I'm going to need two constant in gear and a redstone flux 
oil. Let's remove that. And for the uh, uh, sorry, and for the induction smelter, we're going to need two Invar gear and a redstone flux coil. So both of those are going to need a redstone flux coil. So let's make two of those. And that's now that we did. Okay, so kind of forgot about this. We already made some thermal machines, but this was locked by the machine frame. And now that we have a machine frame, this is now unlocked and we can now get started with all the hardened and reinforced and resonant. So this is what I want to concentrate on. So first off, uh, we need the um, multi-servo press, which is going to require some constant in gear, but we also need a gear working die, which requires Invar on a gear. So what I'm going to do is I need Constantin. And in a past episode, I prepared right here a Constantin block, okay? And the Constantin B nectar block is for a Constantin B and the Constantin B is nickel and copper. But that's how I made my first Constantin, if you remember. In the smeltery, we made Constantin by mixing nickel and copper. So it's a one to one ratio. Okay. So Constantin and copper and nickel. So I'm just going to need uh, six copper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, two more for breeding the beet. And I'm going to need six, eight nickel. Same thing. And then I'm going to come back here and let's just put these six and these six and oh my god is this no this is off now oh uh, did it put something in here I don't think so I think we're good okay so we're waiting for the copper and the nickel to mix to give us some constantin so we're going to make the three gear and while we're waiting for the three gears I'm going to put the 12 invar To make the invar gears uh you know what i only need four so let's put that right here and let's do this that's going to be the second one and the third one i'm only making a third of the same because it's easier but it oh i could have used one of the gold gear here basically yeah not a big deal so now I'm going to put this one here and I'm going to put some Invar on it, which is going to give me a gear working die. Anytime, anytime today. Wow, this one's slow. Let's just sleep while we're waiting. Come on. Okay, we should be back. Put this back here and come over here and grab our gear working die in our second constant in gear. Now, the beauty of this is that we can now craft our multi-servo press like so. And the reason I wanted to do this is that if I take the multi-servo press and I put it right here and it starts getting some power, I can put the gear working die. And if I put Invar in it, it's going to press the four into a gear and the next four into a second gear, which means we're going to be able to make our next machine. Let's come over here and make our induction smelter. So you know what? I'm going to remove the multi-servo press and the gear working die. We can, oh, no, nope. we need to first make a blast furnace. And now we should be able to make our induction smelter and we'll put the induction smelter right here. So. The induction smelter is for the next step that I want to make because right now we're running out of power. We're clearly huh, strip logged. Perfect. So let's just grab you. Nope. Let's just grab a real axe. Yeah, like so. And let's just axe this. Which place the next acacia log. Okay, this I guess I hit it. So I'm going to say break this and break this and voila so now so by mistake i right click so i'm just going to do it once if you right click a log it becomes a strip log it's going to get broken and it's going to place the next one and these logs are just going to lay on the ground we're going to figure out a way of getting rid of them later for now let's just throw them overboard like so 
Okay, so like I said, I want more power. And if you guys remember, we put a hardened integral component in there to make more power. But there are more level of integral components. So if I go integral component, do I have one already? Integral. Now, so let's make the first level. So the first level requires a gold gear. So let's come back over here and let's put the gold gears in our system. So if I come over here and I put those in, I can say, give me a hardened integral component, but that doubles. If I had a reinforced integral component, that would triple, but we needed Signalum gear. And if you remember, the Signalum gear needed to melt Signalum, we needed blazing blood. So now, now that I have a press, I can just grab 16 of those, like so, because I want to make two integral and put that in here, okay? So that's going to give me four gears and we're also going to need four lumium gear. So let's come back right here and prepare our lumium. So I'm going to need 16 lumium also. And we can come back over here and grab these four gears. Put that in there. Let's come back over here and let's just say this. Oh, let's just click it like this. So now we're going to make one of them into a reinforced integral component. And I'm going to replace this one. So now we're making 120 RF. And we're going to make this second one into a third tier also, like so. And now we can make that one into the last tier. But we need Enderium ingots and Lumium gear. Um, Do I have Enderium ingot? I should because I did put some Enderium. Nope, this is Terra Steel. Nope. Yes, 20 in there. Oh, and four Wither Skeleton Skull. So these 20 in Ingot, I'm just going to put right here. It brings me over here. And now I should be able to make... No, I can't make those because I still need the Hardened Glass. Hardened Glass is why we need the Induction Spelter. So it's Quartz, Obsidian, and Sand. So let me grab 8 Sand. 8 Obsidian. And 8 Quartz which should, I think that's going to make me 16 hardened glass, which is going to be good enough to get started with. So let's put all of those in here. And by the way, you can do this to make the machine go three times faster. It also has, it uses 60 RF instead of 20 though, because it's three times faster. So let's take it out and grab the four hardened glass that are ready. Let's also not forget to grab our lumium. And if I come over here, I should now be able to do this. And if I come back here, this is producing 80 RF. Well, no, it's now producing 160 RF. And if I grab this one back, unfortunately, I need to grab it quickly. And I go like this. That will also put this one at 160 RF. And so now we went from 2 times 80 to two times 160 so yeah power should now be good and all of these yeah they're all filling on power all of these machines are staying filled with power which is amazing and this is at three buckets now let's go sleep because how is it not night oh no it's an eclipse oh this is weird anyway so it's not night, so let's just continue with what we were doing. And the next step is going to be breeding our constant in B. Since we're here, we're going to need... Is it night or is it not night? Now I'm confused. You can only sleep at night or during thunderstorm. And all of my bees are in their house. Oh! Oh! And they all came out just one at the same time, all popped up. Okay. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to grab one of these copper bee. And now I need to find where I put my nickel bees. Where are the nickel bees? Lumium, blaze. Are my, I think my nickel bees are on 
on another level. Yeah, they're right here. Yeah, so let's just do this. Nickel and copper. Grab, grab, and grab. Put those back and breathe them again. Grab the bait. Oh, grab the babies and this. And then, you know what? I'll go. Where's the next spot? I'll just go back up here and I'll grab the next spot, which is going to be right here. And then we're going to put these Constantin B right here and that copper B right back in its copper place. Like so. Great. So we now have another B. Uh, let me come back here. Oh, don't want you. Go you in here. Okay, so now that we have those two Bs set up, uh, can I remove this? Constantin and Constantin B. We're getting closer and closer to getting all of the Bs that we want. Okay, uh, what next? What next? What next? We've done the induction smelter. Okay, so one of the other things that I want, now that I have more power, I want to start automating the processing over here. And I also want to extract these. So just give me a second. Do I have... No, I don't have any more quad drawers. So let me make some more quad... No, so drawer... Where's the X4 drawer? Right here. Oh my God, these animals are so annoying. Oak. Oak. Do this. Put that all back in here. And then we can go back to the quad drawers and make a couple. I also use them for so many other crafting. Press the key right here and let's do this. And let's put some dielectric paste and some flux. And now we have space for those. Perfect. And if I come back here, what does this look like now? So this is almost empty. This is processing, emptying. Nope, I'm going to need a spot for the Terra Steel. This will empty slowly. This is empty and this is empty. So the Terra Steel, I'm just going to place here so that we can get these nuggets because we have crafting to do with the nuggets. And I need some food. So let's come over here. Grab these and let's make some food from that. Like so. And so. Let's make some more bread. Okay. So next step, since we got into the modular router, let's make the next step of the modular router. So first off, I want some puller module. So we're going to need some sticky piston. Uh, I'm going to make four uh, puller pistons. So one, two, three, four. Perfect and puller module like this we're gonna go grab all four then we're going to make some sender module which is same thing but with no uh with piston just normal piston but these are tier one if you put those with an ender pearl you make them into tier two which gives them a longer range and makes them faster let's do that and there's even a tier three Hello. Oh no, the puller doesn't have a tier three, but the sender does have a tier three. So if I go on sender and I look at the tier three, it's um, end stone and an ender chest. Do I have everything to make an ender chest? And is it one for one? Yeah, it is one for one. So no, Let, let's just stay like this for now. So we're going to grab one puller module and the four sender module. So we're going to want to pull from this right here. So we shift, right click, and it identifies it as a pulling system. Then I'm going to take that modular router and I'm just going to put it on top here because I think it's well placed. And then we're going to put this right here, but we're immediately going to switch it to whitelist because no, we don't want anything. We want specific. Okay, so put that back in here. And then these sender modules, I'm gonna, this one, 
this one, this one, and this one. We're going to all put those in like so. And technically we could support four more and we've got four. Get out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. I want to keep one for when we want to force process something quickly. Maybe not. I'll, I'll see later. But now I want to start processing stuff. So first thing that I'm going to want, uh, I want my steel to always be processed. Okay, because I'm going to need steel. I want my steel to always be processed. I want my enderium to always be processed. I want a lot of wither skeleton skull. So I always want this to be processed. For now, I'm going to want my terra steel to be processed. I'm going to want my astral to always be processed. My signalum, my lumium. Nope, I don't care about the end nor the seared clay, salt, flux, dirt, icy, fluorite, osmium. Oh, osmium I want. Uh, appetite, ancient, I always want those. How many is that? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, for now, that's the maximum that the router is going to be able to support. But I'm going to come right here and I want to do the osmium first because I want to start getting osmium. So here it's pulling osmium to the buffer. And then if there's space here, see, it's not pushing any because these are all already contain oh my god get out of my face they all already contain something so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this obsidian and put it right here then i'm going to come over here and i'm just going to put all of the other things that i want to whitelist great and then i can come back here and can just do this the kind of visual line is a bit annoying, but you know what? It works as long as it works. And right now, see, this one got filled with some osmium. And oh, it switched to another one. Put some osmium in these two. So unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily do it smart. It pushes it where it can, and it's doing them in a round robin manner. So the moment this rubber is done, the Wither Skeleton Skull are going to come in here, as you can see. But it's going to full, fully fill that one because none of the other are empty. So since none... Oh, see, I've emptied this one. Now I put some in here. But let me come back here quickly and let's make a couple other upgrades. So these are Polar and Sender. Let's make some stack upgrade. Hello? like this so stack upgrade let's make these blank upgrade first like this let's make some stack upgrade so i'm going to grab two i don't know how much it it does and let's make six of these speed upgrades so if i come here and i put a stack upgrade it's pulling two at a time i put another one it's going to pull 21 four at a time so it, it kind of doubles and if you put the speed upgrade it goes just a bit faster so now let me just take a quick look osmium in here so i'm going to take this osmium out did you see 8 16 24 28 32 this is going so much faster so that this is filling with steel so that should be all of the steel that i have these are the wither skeleton the wither skeleton it also put in both which i don't like uh, so I'm just going to put here for now. But with the speed and the stack upgrade, it should now always just do one at a time. So I'm going to come back here, grab those wither skeleton skulls and put them in here so that there's a spot for them. And these polar module, you know what? I'm just going to need to make a little bit of cleanup and get rid of these module, this charcoal. All of this I'm going to put in here for now, except the B box, okay? Because what I'm going to do is for this one time, I, I need to make those bees, okay? So I, I want to show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making a b bituminous sand bee. It's breeding one sand bee with a coal bee, which you've seen multiple time. And for the bituminous sand, we need two coal honeycomb and two sand honeycomb. Super simple. Then... 
in one of my previous time lapse, I prepared the Blitz. So I don't need the Blitz anymore right here. I've prepared the Blizz. I've prepared the Bazals. I've prepared the Sheep. And I've prepared the Bitumen Ascent. So all of those are prepped and I'm going to grab them. And yeah, all of this was also done. I'm just grabbing stuff by mistake now. Okay, so all of these are done. And these bees, they're not complicated. The Blizz bee is made from niter and pigment. And by the way, so just let's come here. Guess what? I grabbed all of this because this and this is going to give me Bazal. This and this is going to give me Blitz. This and this is going to give me Blizz. So all of this was pre-prepared. So I'll be able to make these bees. Now for the pig iron bee, if you guys remember, uh, it's iron bee with pigment bee. And the pig iron nectar block is, oh, it's the pig iron. Did I not make this already? I think I've made the pig iron. Just give me a second. No, not the, yeah, pig iron. Yes, I've made the pig iron. So this was done in a previous episode and I just forgot to flush them. But we now have pig iron honeycomb. Um, so wither skeleton bee is done. So these I'm going to make. And what else? So this, darn it. Nope, not here, right here. I'm also going to make the slime steel, but let me show you how I'm going to make the slime steel first. So the slime steel bee is bred from a slimy bee and a seared bee and the slime, slime steel bee nectar block. That's the important one. I need two block of slime steel and two slimy honeycomb block. The block of slime steel is made from slime steel ingot or from molten slime steel and the molten slime steel is iron, sky slime and seared ingot. So I want to make two block. So I'm going to need 18 ingots. I'm going to need nine crafts. So I need nine seared stone, nine slime ball and nine iron. So let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I overclicked. Let's just come over here and do this. I'm going to need nine sky slime that we have because of the mob farm so let's grab this right here put those in here and then the last thing that we need is seared brick seared oh it's exactly nine wow uh, i have the so uh, seared uh, comb so that's not a problem but then i can do this so that's how i'm going to get my slime steel which is going to then I'm just going to be able to make the B because I'm going to have this slime steel nectar block and I'm going to make that nectar block in my time lapse. So I'll just do this. What else I want to show you? Okay, so for the refined glowstone B, you need two refined two stacks, uh, two blocks of refined glowstone and two pigment honeycomb. But the refined glowstone you can get this way, but this is not the way. There is another way. You can get refined glowstone ingot by casting osmium on glowstone dust. So if I come back here and I say osmium and I can grab 18 ingot of this. And I can come over here and grab 18 of these glowstone. Then I can come back over here. Melt the osmium. Remove this, put a glowstone right here. And that, once melted, is going to start making the lumium, uh, the refined glowstone, which is going to let me make the block and the bee. So this is going to give us, hey, a beautiful lumium ingot. Okay, so that's how I'm going to make this block. And for the refined obsidian, we need obsidian, no, for the refined obsidian b we need the refined obsidian and of course if you click on the refined obsidian there is also a recipe for that by putting osmium on refined obsidian dust okay so let's just press a on that so that we can continue how do you get the refined obsidian dust well there's multiple ways but the only real way is by putting diamond on obsidian dust okay so it's one on one so i'm going to need to melt 18 diamond which is going to require the blazing blood 
This is also how we make these advanced pipe upgrade. So what I'm going to do is once I'm done with doing this in my time lapse, I'm going to replace the seared fuel tank with this uh, seared fuel tank of liquid blazing blood. And I'm going to basically melt enough diamond to make the 18 obsidian thingies and to make the these, well, not all 17, but make a couple of them into advanced pipe upgrade. Like I'm going to just prepare that during my time lapse. Uh, now that I've shown you the mechanism on how to get those. So that should take care. So by the end of the time lapse, all of these bees are going to be gone. We've done the, the terrorist. Oh, no, that's radioactive. Okay, so radioactive bee is block transmutation of the steel bee over radioactive barrel. Okay, so let me just show you how we do this. I've showed you transmutation so many times now that I don't feel like I really need to show you the um, how to do it. So radioactive barrel are crafted with lead and steel. So one, two, three, four. Why do I need four? I need two to make the bees, two to make the radioactive nectar block, which I never bookmarked apparently, and two to transform into two radioactive B, okay? So that's gonna take care of the radioactive. Elementium, I'm going to have to wait on the next episode for Batania. Compressed iron is done. The black iron bee spawn is RGB honeycomb under an iron bee. So I'm going to do that. And if I come here at black iron, what's the nectar block? Nectar block is two RGB and two iron. So this is pretty standard stuff. So I'm also going to get that done. So all of this is going to have been fully prepared. Now, last thing I wanna do before I get out of here is a trash can. And the reason I want a trash can is I want to be able to start trashing these head. So let's just do that quickly because we now have the way of doing this. So we're going to grab one modular router that I'm going to put right here. And I'm going to need an item pipe and my wrench. And I'm going to need some puller and sender module. Puller module. So two puller modules. You know what? I'm probably going to use all three. So let's just put that third one right here. And we're going to need a barrel and some sender module. So let's just come right here. Oh, no. Right here and say barrel like so. And we're going to need a sender module. So we're just going to make one. Well, we're going to make four because I want to upgrade them. So I always try and always do them in stack of four to be able to maximize your upgrades. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go continue the setup. So I prefer having a intermediate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a barrel here and I'm not going to turn this on before I've proven that it works. Now I'm going to grab a sender module and I'm going to click this and I'm going to set this in the first spot. And then I'm going to grab these three puller module and go pull from here, pull from here, pull from here. And I'm going to put all of these three in here separately. And then I'm going to say whitelist, whitelist and whitelist. So now that we've whitelist all of them, it's going to no longer pull anything. So now I can come back and put things in here. So fortunately, these head are all the same head. So if I come here and I put this head and I say ignore, oh, I don't even have, oh, it's already on ignore and BT. So if I leave ignore and BT and I say ignore item damage, all of these head of different form of guys are being transferred. So I'm going to be able to empty all of this and I'm no longer going to require this wall of drawer, but it's slowly going to empty from here. You know what? Let's just come over here. Can I grab some more speed upgrades? So speed upgrade like this. I don't know what's the max. I think we can put nine, but let's come right here and put nine. 
and this is now full but we know that it's safe so we're going to turn on and start uh emptying this content also also we're just going to do this because then it's going to also make this faster and voila so now it's fully emptying super fast now there are other things that i want to remove i want to get rid of these i want to get rid of these i want to get rid of these so if i come here and i press c i can add all of these in here which now gets extracted and thrown into the garbage i'm also going to grab this one press c and add the chainmail helmet and voila steel and leather boots so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this steel right here but i'm going to start this one to be leather so i'm going to say ignore and bt and ignore item damage okay so if i come back here these two will be transported and voila so now everything's going in my drawer system or is being extracted and put into the barrel for destruction so my mob farm is restarted that being said i'm going to need to provide a space for those things so since we no longer need those heads i can put that here and i can put that right here and basically i'm just going to in my time lapse get rid of all of these useless head but now my mob farm is i'm gonna say fixed i wanted to say fixed but technically fixed i'm still going to need to identify all of the new stuff and these are not being picked up because they have uh, magic on it which i don't remember what's the impact and how to uh, process them but that should be very little and i can come back here and extract them once in a while which is exactly what i'm going to do let's just put that right there so i'm going to go in my time lapse now and when i come back from my time lapse all of this should be taken care of and i'm going to start marking the next bees that i want to make because basically i'm going to come over here to the all the bees and i'm just going to go like this say cobalt i can't do right now refined glowstone is going to be done compressed iron is going to be done matter i won't be able so i'm going to identify the ones that i can do and i'm going to mark them to do them and the one that i cannot do i'll just leave for another time and probably in the next episode we're going to have to start talking about the cobalt how we're going to get our cobalt and how we're going to get our elven gateway up so i probably need to start oh i know what it is that i forgot that i want to process so if I come here and I say coal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second polar module in here. And in the second polar module, like right now, what, what can I say? I'm going to sacrifice the terra steel and I'm going to put the coal because I need to auto process the coal. And you know what? Because I want to make things just a bit better, I'm going to right click this one and also add this so now i have an extra place to process stuff but all of these are beautifully full with stuff to process so we're just going to auto process all of these material going forward Whew. well that was a lot of work let's complete on here because here we have a view of everything that we've done and i'm gonna go in my time lapse and i'm just going to be crazy and make all the missing bees and just start identifying the next one and in the next episode we're going to do a little bit more batania progression just so that we get the elementum and whatnot so that we can get a better armor and i think i'm going to also start progressing toward that nether star don't know if the nether star is going to be in the next episode but at least we're making progression in that direction guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye now